Dr. Stephen Olmos and I want to welcome you to the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Center. This is a project that uh, I put together over the years and I'm very proud of the fact that uh, these centers which are uh, limited to the treatment of chronic pain and sleep breathing disorders for all ages, children to elderly. And we're, we now have over 60 centers uh, of doctors that I've mentored over the years uh, dispersed across seven countries. I'd like to give you a tour of what we do here uh, in, in our office in San Diego, which is the birthplace for this uh, standardized care. Okay. We're demonstrating a technique um, called joint vibration analysis, and this allows us to um, objectively measure the pathology of the jaw. So whether we have soft tissue displacement or whether we have osseous um, uh, perforations uh, gives us a quick and easy way to understand how we begin treatment. Okay, so we're going to follow her on the screen. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Perfect, great job. And so from this we can record vibrations and now calibrate them to see how much of this energy is um, above and below uh, this range. And so then it'll come out um, as a displacement with no tissue movement, proper displacement, or perforations based on vibrations either under 300 hertz or above 300 hertz. Cone beam CT um, is a very uh, important part of our evaluation process as um, we're able to gather data about the entirety of the patient, um, including looking for uh, breathing issues, um, looking for structural problems, and um, uh, being able to see obstructions and, and uh, gross pathologies. Uh, uh, we get all sorts of information from this type of technology. Very important to be able to discern and walk through the patient to be able to see where the uh, problems in breathing are um, and uh, so that we can make proper referrals. Uh, also, um, the degree of the pathology that is necessary to be able to help these people because in certain cases like this young patient with um, severe osteoarthritis, uh, that was recommended that uh, she have her uh, jaws cut out and have artificial condyles. And, we were, and uh, with uh, limited opening, we were able to help her within days to achieve normal opening and um, uh, now in healing and uh, doesn't need the surgery. So some pretty amazing cases um, that uh, we're able to demonstrate using this technology. Every patient, we evaluate their posture, um, looking at it in, uh, against a grid with a plumb line so we can discern. We split the hips so we can see scoliosis um, in the frontal um, and uh, sagittal as well as posterior. So can you turn to your, there you go, your left, thank you. Take a couple steps forward and we can align as such. Um, and then of course, uh, away. So you can turn one more time, please. Perfect, thank you. And then a little bit to your right. Excellent. And, and so this is uh, simply adjusted for this purpose. There. And you're always splitting the hips in order to discern um, the improvement. So we do these evaluations both before uh, we treat and after to uh, demonstrate the uh, improvements in uh, body posture. In trying to explain people's problems, um, props become very important for them to visualize. Uh, so different types of anatomy, uh, orthopedic dysfunction of the jaw, uh, muscular entrapments, nerves, uh, breathing dissonance, all of these things are very important for them to be able to understand. And uh, especially with the sinuses and uh, these kinds of problems. So when it comes time to produce appliances, um, for either pain or breathing disorders or both, um, they can now be fitted with these printed 
type 12 nylon devices so these are much more accurate than previously um, been able to produce um, from the years uh, doing acrylic these are so much more thin light and durable um, that that now these uh, for people that didn't have the ability or just couldn't tolerate appliances previously so we have different variations of them they manage the tongue the jaw and the nose these are all fitted pieces and even for those most difficult cases where you need positive pressure and oral appliance and a quick disconnect um, these all can be um, produced uh, using the new printed technology so using sophisticated uh, lasers, cold lasers, therapeutic lasers, we're able to um, uh, effectively treat many areas. This one here called the Charlie Head's got three different laser systems, um, being able to do deep structures of the neck, which are very common in jaw problems, with the wand being able to do any of, of the other areas of the head and neck. Um, in sweeping motions. These are very sophisticated lasers. They are combination. They have 808, 905 wavelength, both uh, uh, continuous and pulsed that are synchronized. So very sophisticated laser systems that accelerate healing and uh, reduce pain dramatically. Ultrasound is a very important uh, treatment modality, um, heating up the tissue 50 degrees and the vibrations uh, break up the adhesions. We can also penetrate medicines in using this technique called phonophoresis. We use this for both shoulders and facial muscles. Sometimes injection techniques are necessary for either proliferative reasons or for muscle relaxation trigger point. So um, that way we have a full um, gamut of different therapies that are necessary to help people um, relieve their pain. Okay, go ahead and open. And make a tight lip seal around that. And plug your nose with your left hand. Now you're going to take a deep breath in when I tell you to, and then normal breaths after that. Ready? Go ahead. So this is a pharyngometer, and its purpose is to measure airway volume uh, in the oropharyngeal. Um, so this is the baseline, this is a person's regular breathing, and for people with uh, sleep breathing disorders, there is a collapse of that pharyngeal airway. So now we're going to measure her collapse. So this time you're just going to take a deep breath in, and then exhale slowly. Raise your left hand once you can't, or once you've run out of breath, okay? Go ahead and open, and bend your nose again. And then take a deep breath in. Okay, so the difference between the collapse and uh, the baseline is a determinant of how much uh, the person's airway would collapse at night. In this case, there's very little uh, difference there as you go down the throat. Um, uh, you, you can see that there is some separation over here in the oral cavity, base of the tongue. And uh, so this is where we would look to take a bite registration that then um, approximated the daytime volume so that we could be sure the person would be able to sleep at nighttime and continue to breathe without issue. Impressions are no longer necessary with uh, 3D scanning, so we have the ability to, to um, be able to spin around, orient the teeth for the production of appliances and um, soft tissue. Uh, so technology has really turned things around for us, um, being able to get things to uh, be more exacting, uh, less distortion, and certainly a lot easier for the patient. So as you can see, this is left ex expiration and left inspiration. Right is the same, inspiration, expiration. So you'll see red lines and then yellow and then different colors, shades of green. And basically, you'd love to have this be as high and as low as is possible, the closer it is to the red. Some of our patients, and you can see this person has a very good nasal airflow. Some of our patients are near flat lines. And this helps the ENT surgeon to know whether or not um, surgery has been completed or whether or not there is additional um, um, things that may be needed to improve nasal breathing.
In, in helping patients who have sleep disordered breathing, uh, the original diagnosis is made by a board certified sleep physician using either a PSG, a polysomnography, an intended study, or a home sleep test. Um, these are examples of various home sleep tests that we use to be able to determine whether our treatment is successful or whether we need, need to make changes until we have success. Um, important to know, very difficult for the patient to be able to proceed because they're asleep. And bite. So the technology of uh, understanding um, the occlusion and how we're able to factor that in uh, to the patient's symptoms uh, is uh, best captured by uh, this digital technique uh, of, of finding exactly the distribution of forces um, and the timing of forces and occlusion. And this is called the tech scan. So by simply uh, replaying the movie, we can discern which teeth hit first, where the prematurities are, where the force vectors go, force vectors, excuse me, and whether that's uh, AP or lateral and the percentages and timing of occlusion so that we best uh, adjust properly. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour and um, a little better understanding of the equipment that's necessary to be able to handle these very difficult cases. Um, please uh, give us a visit.